Good morning, everybody. So I picked up this trailer from a family member who uh, sold it to me, and it had some wiring issues. So I spent about two hours or so troubleshooting it. Admittedly, wiring's not my strong suit. And I found a couple of issues. It's got, a, it's got an, obviously an internally wired uh, through the frame. And it ha I found a couple shorts inside the frame. And it's also got an issue with the main, the main harness here. So... I'm gonna cut my losses. This trailer is 20 years old and I'm gonna replace the entire harness, lights and everything. That's what I've decided to do. I just picked up a, an LED wiring kit so we'll convert it to LED. I've already removed it from the package but this is everything it comes with. Obviously two lights. This is the left hand light. You see the backup or the, uh, not the backup, but the light to illuminate the plate. And the yellow wiring is for the left hand signal and brake. And the green, is for the uh, right side. Also comes with a plate frame, any hardware that I need, and of course the uh, the harness itself. So <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get this thing rewired, take you guys along. This is anything but a how-to because like I said, wiring's not my thing. But let's get right into it. A uh, little bit about the trailer. It's an Econo trailer. Um, it's uh, whatever is below the threshold for needing brakes. I don't know if that's 3,000, 3,500 pounds. It's got Dexter axles in it, uh, diamond plate, steel bed. It's a pretty well-built trailer. These sides are removable. Um, it's got some channel in there for hauling a motorcycle, which works out well for me. So I think it's worth investing in. I didn't pay a ton for the trailer, and uh, I think it'll be a nice unit once we get once we get it rewired. And it's also got these pull-out ramps. There's three of them here. So, as you can tell, I already got my uh, pause on the lights here as I was doing some troubleshooting. And I'm going to go ahead and remove all these existing lights, uh, rewire the trailer, and we'll see what we make out. Okay, when I bought this trailer, the original lights were mounted up here, something like this. Um, originally, when this trailer was built, they were tucked underneath this piece of uh, L-bracket here. But I think what happened is they kept getting smashed, so at some point the previous owner mounted them up top here using a piece of flat stock. So what I wanted to do is bring this trailer back to the way it was originally and drop the lights down below. Problem is, these housings are a different size than these old ones and they don't just bolt up so what I decided to do what I decided to do was reuse this piece of flat stock and uh, let me spin you around here I decided to reuse this piece of flat stock and I bolted it to to this L bracket and then I mounted the light uh, down here I gotta get new hardware on here I want to use stainless hardware um, that way it lasts, but I just have it uh, tacked in place now to see how it looks and check fitment and everything. So I did the same thing on the other side. I think it looks a lot better with the lights tucked under here. The trailer comes with these pull-out ramps like I mentioned a minute ago. There's three of them. And in order to access the channel where the wire runs through the frame, I gotta pull these ramps out. Let me show you what I mean. So with the ramp removed, I can access this channel where the wiring runs to uh, run my new wires on both sides. So even though I'm using a one-piece harness with no splices, I'm still going to uh, utilize this junction box and uh, pull my new harness through here. Come on. 
Okay, I guesstimated the amount of slack I'm going to need in this in this lead here for my plug, and I ran it through the junction box. Now I'm going to go ahead and feed the yellow and brown through the uh, left frame rail, and the brown and green to the uh, right frame rail. Okay, I just went ahead and I taped the new harness to the old harness with electrical tape, and I'm going to use that to pull this through the frame, this section of frame here. And then it opens up again a little bit after we get under the trailer. Okay, I got both sides pulled through the frame. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know this originally, but there's eyelets all the way through this frame for this wire to track through, and you can knot it periodically so that it doesn't move. I'm going to leave the slack, this excess here for now. I just want to connect this, make sure that I don't have any issues, and then we'll tidy it up at a later date. So I am planning to uh, solder and shrink tube these, or either I'll use the, uh, I don't know if you've seen them, they're like butt connectors, but they have solder in them and shrink tube all in one, which they're kind of slick and I haven't heard anything bad about them. So I'm just going to connect this with wire nuts now to make sure it's working, make sure I don't have any issues, and uh, then I'll button it up at a later date because it's getting dark now and I'm fighting the clock. But I just want to make sure this thing's going to work. And if we did a good job, we shouldn't have anything to worry about, right? All right, other side. And I already put my ground on here. So it prompted me to look at trailers. I don't know if you guys saw that video I did, um, I don't know, a year ago or so, where I was talking about why my next truck's gonna be a three quarter ton. Because in the winter time, I burn I burn wood pellets and a ton of wood pellets on the back of a half ton truck doesn't give you the warm fuzzy feeling if you're going for any distance and it ain't the safest thing either so a couple of you in the comments box suggested why not buy a utility trailer so here we are today see you speak and I listen All right, green, green, brown, brown. We got the ground already hooked up. Let's go up front. So I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is kind of asinine. So I get this harness. Look at how much ground wire they give me. I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and splice an extra piece onto this and ground it inside this junction box where the original ground, when this thing was factory, that's how it was grounded. So I think that's what I'm going to do, um, and we should be good to go. Okay, the moment of truth here. So this is a four-pin uh, flat connector. i got to use an adapter to plug it into my truck. So we have one of those. Because the truck has a round plug. Pardon the ass shot here. Ah, yeah. All right. Let's fire this old girl up. Actually, we don't even need to. We'll just, eh, what the hell. Fire it up. All right. Put the headlights first. And I haven't connected these uh, front markers yet. I'll splice those in later on. Hey, hey, look at what we got here. Man, that is a sweet sight. LED looks kind of cool. I don't know what you guys think. I wish these were a little bit lower profile, but they are kind of slick. All right. Let me put you on the stand. I'll try the uh, directionals, brakes, flashes, all that good stuff. So I'll have to play the video back to make sure we're in business, but I think we're good.
I was getting ready to use my trailer today and I wanted to give these tires a closer look check the bearings make sure there were no issues the bearings were fine but what I found is um, the tires need to be replaced this is the better of the two there's no um, there's no dry rotting on it um, no cracking or anything like that the other one I'll show you in a second is pretty bad but this one's got a date code of uh, 37 13 so that was manufactured in the 37th week of 2013 and you always look for the four digit number after see where it says DOT and a bunch of numbers you can read it that way the other one I had a harder time finding the code but I did ultimately find it on the inside sidewall I took it off and let me see where was that let's see DOT blah 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 1707 it looks like it's hard to read so that tire is 12 years old and you can obviously tell by the condition of it look at the cracking you know this thing's a time bomb this is the inside the outside's a lot worse um, you can see that all the way around right at the flex point there it's getting ready to go so before this thing moves an in another inch, I'm gonna go ahead and put two new tires on and also get a proper spare and mount the spare on here. Cause right now I don't have one. So thanks for watching you guys. We will see you on the next video.